He's got the whole world in his hand. 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 Our mission statement for the Hand in Hand Ministry is to come alongside of families touched by disabilities and facilitate their involvement with the ministries of First Pres and to also minister specifically to them so that they can experience the love of Christ and the hope that we have in His Kingdom. One of the verses that has really uh, ministered to us and been encouraging for us is in John chapter 9 where it talks about Jesus healing a man that was born, born blind and his disciples came to Jesus and asked Jesus why this man was, was blind. Was it because of something he did? Was it a sin of his parents? And Jesus said, no, it was so that my works could be displayed through him. So one of the greatest blessings for us has been our relationship with Margie and Jean. When we had not slept in a year and a half, Margie came in at the perfect time and just really wanted to be a part of our family's life. And she pursued me and she wanted to know how practically she could help us as a family. I had met Susie in a Bible study and but never met Joe and it was you know interesting to see what they were having to go through and of course um, I like to be comic relief for people under stress so that was a, a fun part for me and meeting Joe and Susie they it just gave me a certain love for them immediately. Um, I felt for what they were going through and never having been through that myself though I, I felt a loss that I didn't know what I can do or what I could do to help them. This really ministered to Joe and I so much. We were able to sleep well through the night. We were able to do things with our other children um, that we normally didn't get to do because of Sadie and we were able just to feel kind of normal again. Little did I know that getting involved with Sadie was going to lead to this wonderful relationship that we've had with the Love Camps. And through getting to know Sadie, I have found a sister in Susie, a brother in Joe, and nephews and nieces in Noah and Maddie. And I am so thankful for the Love Camps in my life. They've come in and flip my world upside down. It takes Jean, me, and Sean uh, to tag team and to be with her. So Jean and I say every time we have her, if not once, twice, how do they do this? And so it is, it's amazing to me. And, and people with da disabled children just need us. And we can be used by God in that way. And I know that God is meeting their every need, but he also uses us to meet his needs. And uh, what a privilege it has been for us. We know that there's other families in the church that are also affected by disabilities and we wanted to help uh, facilitate the support of those families and allow them to experience God's provision and support through a ministry like Hand in Hand. From the first time that I heard about Hand in Hand, I knew that it was something that I wanted to help with and I contacted Jessica Tatro about it and when she emailed me back and told me that my buddy would be Jack Harper, I was exuberant. I was so happy because I love Jack. He is so sweet, has such a kind spirit. Always happy, always likes to be around people. When I think about Jack and how I can help him out and serve God through that, it just really lifts my spirit. And helping Jack and him being my buddy just is something, an opportunity that I'm really grateful to have had. One theologian has said that grace for the Christian believer is a transformation that depends on your realizing that you are desired, that you are significant, that you are wanted. I am so grateful for the Hand in Hand ministry, which helps us as a church personify Jesus' invitation when He said, Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. 